What's up everybody, it's your favorite details, favorite nerd, and the reason why I say detail is because, well, we'll get to that. This is Warbitron's Hammer Sharpener, which is their homage to G1 Computron Technobot nose cone. He comes with a slew of accessories. Uh, he comes with this foot that turns into a hand. No, kidding, kidding. Calm down, calm down. Just having a bit of a go. He does come with these two guns though, and they are pretty cool. We could have used some more paint. Uh, yellow. Uh cast here two pieces screwed together with this on a swivel through the screw and then this piece plugged in and then this is like a gunmetal that's painted on there same on the other side he holds them uh, they peg in on the arm they'll peg in there there's ports all over this fella and he holds them in his hand as you'll be able to see just shortly almost picture perfect very, very close. Good cut work there to allow for the gun. Well done. Well done. Uh, he comes with this thing. Uh, it's in its uh, alt mode position now, but you take this off. This is like a translucent plastic with a silver tip. You can fold this down. Two pieces of uh, different colored gray plastic, and then we got this lighter gray plastic with the gold. Uh, paint around it. It did get a little out of control right there, but overall pretty well done. And then you can plug this in here, and then he can hold this in his hand uh, any which way you'd like. And it works both ways, and not a single stress mark on the hand, which is nice. He also comes with these four knives. Uh, they can hold in here, like an upside down holster. I don't know why they're here really. I'm just going to show you one. They're all identical, uh, single cast. I'm guessing it, it'll pay off in combined mode, but I don't know. And then they just slide right on into there. And um, I guess I should show you this. Uh, he can hold those two with no problem. And they will plug in to his shoulder and any other goofy thing you can come up with, uh, with with no problem. Plug that back in there. And let's talk about the figure. First and foremost, I want to mention he is a little back heavy because he does have this, this afterthought sitting on his back. Um, and as a result, he is a little back heavy. As you can see, my hips are slightly angled forward to better support the weight because when they are straight, um, you know, he does a little, does a little lean. Now you can bend the knees forward to kind of get that extra. But then I, f I personally feel like that starts to look a little awkward. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. There's. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but uh, I tend to push the the hips forward a little bit, and, and then maybe even bend the knees back a little bit for for my desired look. But you know, individual results will vary, and and that's up to you. Uh, so let's zoom in a bit. Take a look at this fella. The head is on a ball joint. Uh, it's on a ball peg. Limited rotation or limited articulation, rather up and down. Um, Good side to side and a little uh, confused dog look as well, but uh, not too bad down. But up is up really leaves a lot to be desired, to be quite honest. Um, translucent red is like textured, but I kind of dig that. But I'm not sure if everyone else will. And then silver painted up in there that's done clean. Silver on the face, which is relatively clean. However, mine is a little blotchy up in that area. Uh, like he's had a, a facelift or something. Uh, moving down the figure, we got the chest. We got good color breakup here. We have this yellow plastic. We have this gray plastic. We have a darker gray painted on the lighter gray. We have a metallic gold painted on the yellow. That all looks nice. We have the same metallic gold painted here on the hips or abdomen, I guess. And then I think that's a different piece of plastic in there against the brown. So, you know, the, the, the Technobots to me have always been a little bit boring just aesthetically. And I think that they really have tried here to make it interesting. Uh, as far as articulation, you do get a, a waist swivel. It's just really tight. 
Mine's tighter one way than it is the other. Uh, so I'm going to have to look at that. Mm -hmm. That's that's unfortunate. Uh, as far as the kibble, it is very, very, very prevalent. It is very much in your face. No hiding that bit. That's there to stay. Uh, this is the way that they suggest you have it. There is... Um, you can rotate this up if you'd like and then rotate this back um, at an angle but I'm not sure if that's any better honestly right I think that the way that they um, suggest is probably the cleanest way however still leaves a fair amount to be desired we'll talk about the nose cone a bit more in, in alt mode and then let's get to the arms so they are on a hinge uh, mainly due to transformation but you can cheat and make it work and that's all to the good. And then also they hinge and have a ratchet at the top. So it's a double hinge. Uh, I don't advise using the bottom hinge. I, th I think I'm just being a little heavy handed. Um, but hinge at the top and then the ratchet swivel here. We have gold metallic paint there. I'll back out a little bit now. Uh, gray metallic paint here no bicep swivel whatsoever I thought maybe there'd be one at the elbow no dice and then double jointed elbow getting everything you could want in, in that regard as far as the hands wrist swivel fingers on uh, a, a single pin so they're all at the base knuckle articulated on a hinge and that is uh, ideal in my opinion and uh same on the other side. I want to draw your attention to this, though. Now, if you if you follow me on Facebook, you already know that I was big on this. But look at that. That's dry brushing on all the treads, and that's hand done, and uh, that makes me so happy. They dry. They dry. They dry brushed them. I gotta tell somebody. Who am I gonna tell? I'll tell the dogs. Me. They dry brushed them. They dry brushed him. Bam. Bam. They bam. Bam. Open your eyes. They they dry brushed him. They they dry brushed him. I just I gotta tell the world. As far as the pelvis, single piece of plastic. And then the hips are on a universal joint that's not ratcheted. Since he's a leg, that shouldn't matter. Um Articulation wise, you get all the way up, all the way back, all the way out to the side. Um, the articulation at the shoulders is hindered. Uh, you know, my buddy Andrew won't forgive me if I, if I don't mention this. So you only get this far up because of the head, you know, and then even if you turn it and then try to come back, you only get to there. So, like, you never can get the hand up sideways, you know, above the abdomen. Just something worth noting. I know he wanted me to. Anyway, uh, we got the same metallic paint up on there on the brown, which looks nice. Thigh swivels on both sides. Paint on the inside on this like gear-looking bit of business, which is nice. Translucent plastic for these missiles with the silver tips all painted. The same paint, gray metallic paint on the brown here. It gets a little, a little bit thin in there. Probably could have used a second coat, but. It is there, and you would never notice on a shelf. I'm just pointing it out because uh, paint's kind of my thing. I think that the legs, color breakup-wise, and paint are perfect. Um, maybe if they would have painted this one little crossbar up in there, it would have been super perfect. Pretty close as is. Knees, non-ratcheted, hinged, um, shy in 90 degrees. Just as an FYI. Uh, as far as the feet, you get a, a foot tilt uh, forward, nothing up, which I'm okay with because it's not really anatomically correct anyway. And then you get a heel spur, which uh, gets you back a bit, which is fine, I guess, for posing. And then you get a, a you know a hell of a rocker. You know, you, you can go as far out as you want, so to speak, and you can get those feet to, to lay flat. So that's all cool in the gang. Shout out to Rolling Steel. Okay, so we're going to transform this guy. There's one other thing I forgot to mention, and I'll tell you why I forgot to mention it. These things up here, they open up, and then these supposedly flip out, and they're like the guns at the bottom of his hands. I can't get mine out. 
Um, it, it's too tight, and there's no uh, place. You see what I've done to my nail trying to get it. There's no there's no place for leverage. Um, so in theory, it works, but I, I I can't I can't vouch for that. It's like um, me with coincidences. You know, I've heard of them. I've just never seen it for myself. Anyway, so. Let's uh, open this up here. Let's start this transformation. Open this up here. Tuck the head in. Fold that up. Simplest pie, right? Open these up here. Flip out these. You push the whole hand in. A different than flip the hand up, which is just nice. Just something different. Same here. Flip that up. Flip this down. Tab that in. And then you got to collapse these. Now this is a lot about technique. Uh, fold this down so you, so you don't put any undue stress there. And you just kind of got to rock it. It's uh, it's hard to do from behind the camera. Let me see if I can't get this one. Because you can't really see what's going on. But uh, there it is. It's it's definitely it's, it's a technique thing. Uh, once you got it, you got it. Fold this part up and tap that in. That locks it all in place. Come on, girl. All right, let's start over. There's some real tolerance issues. Um, there it is. And then tab in. And then lock that up like that. Open the backpack up here. Fold this whole piece around and over the top. And then fold this whole piece down and fold the arms so that you have it kind of in line. Rock the shoulders out and down and then they tab back in uh, to the body here. It's kind of hard to see and it's a, it's a tight peg. Let's get the other one. Same thing. Tight tolerance. And boom. Let's see if I can't work this one. There. Uh, swivel the, the hips 180. Which you should be able to do. No. There. No fuss, no muss. Uh, open these up they kind of split here and then uh, they collapse over top and peg back in almost reminds me of uh, the combiner war stuff a little bit and just find that sweet spot and it'll tab together same on this side Once again, this tolerances make it a little challenging. Fold that up, peg that all together. This tread here can be a bit of a pain. I had a problem with this. There it is. And fold the feet out. Rotate at that joint right there, the top bit of the foot, back and then fold that down. Same here, top end of the foot, fold that back and that down. And that is in essence um, the bot portion of it. And now we just got to add on the accessories. Take your hammer. Pull the tip off, fold this piece all the way down, separate this here, and shove that in. I'm not sure if that needs to go in a certain way or not, uh, but shove that in like that. It's kind of awkward to hold, and then you plug that in there and that creates your, uh, your drill. 
and that sits up. Take your guns, plug them in back here. Take your knives and they slide in There. It's just hard to find that sweet spot. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. Hi. And then. All done? Almost. Hi. Same on the other side. Okay, so there it is. I feel like it's a bit of a departure from the. Uh, the original nose cone. Uh, I kind of feel like this is a, a lot of cheating, to be honest with you. Uh, these do articulate, which is nice, up and down, and then so do these, which is nice. Because when I first saw these, I was like, he's just going to shoot missiles at his back. But no, you can you can have it up. And then the the nose cone bit articulates here and then also up. Uh, but it just seems so much like an afterthought. Doesn't roll. Uh, which isn't a, isn't a huge deal for me, but I'm just pointing it out. And then you do have these pieces that can open up if you so desire. Uh, but then you do lose a little bit of the stability of this. Um, but, you know, you can go for that look if you'd like. Uh, Color-wise, it's on point. Kind of general motif fits on point. But uh, I, like the, I like the way that the weapons stash and everything. But, yeah. Eh, reaching. I feel like they're reaching. Size comparison wise with Turbo Ejector, admittedly looking pretty great next to one another. And there he is next to a Unique Toys Terracon. Uh, significantly taller. Uh, now I got him a little bit of an A stance, but I have uh, the other fellow in a bit of an A stance also. So um, Sometimes perspective on this can get a little wonky, but it comes up to about his eyebrow. So, pretty interesting. Final thoughts wise, I do kind of feel like some things got away from us here. There are tolerance issues. There are weird things going on now, like the waist only swivels in one direction, at least on mine. Perhaps individual results will vary. The tolerances are super tight all over the place for the connecting places and to disconnect things. At times, it's very difficult to get things to go together, and then at other times, it's very difficult to get things apart. It creates a very uh, stressful transformation experience for a transformation that's relatively simple, straightforward, and enjoyable. It would have been on the money had things kind of moved a little cleaner. We have limited articulation issues with the shoulders. Uh, Turbo Ejector had them too, so it's not that big of a deal. However, this guys are way worse than Turbo Ejector. Turbo Ejectors didn't really bother me. Um, I know some people who the, whom they did, but this guys, uh, this guys is is a whole different ball game. The alt mode is kind of all over the place. It just feels like a brick uh, with a nose cone kind of tossed on the top of it. It feels like the nose cone is kind of an afterthought pretty much all around. It's an afterthought in robot mode. It's an afterthought in bot mode. It's an afterthought in alt mode. You know, it just seems like they made the figure and then, you know, they took it to their boss and they were like, well, wait, where's the nose cone? And then they had to come up with a way to figure out how to how to get it on. So all those things kind of detract from this figure and definitely take it down a notch from where Turbo Ejector was. On the plus side though, his paint is top shelf. One of the best painted figures I have in my collection from third party Transformers or first party Transformers for that matter. If you get him posed properly, overcoming the articulation challenges, uh, the bicep swivel, which I forgot to mention, that's a huge challenge to overcome. But if you get him posed properly, he is a good-looking piece. And if you sit him next to Turbo Ejector, he all of a sudden looks ten times better. The alt mode, while it looks like a brick with a nose cone slapped on the top of it, at the same time, it's super solid. So I'm guessing and hoping that the combiner is going to be super solid. Let's face it, we're not buying just this figure. We're buying this figure for a larger set, whether you're going to have them as robots, whether you're going to have them as whatever they're supposed to be, or whether you're going to have them as Computron, you're buying this guy for the sum of his parts, and I think he's going to pay off in that respect. He's going to look great with the rest of the bots, as we've already seen with Turbo Ejector. He's going to look great as a leg, so it's shaping up. Alt mode, we might have to kind of hide them behind a few and maybe just have a, I don't know, alt mode may not work, but the other two 
will work just fine and who would display these guys as alt modes the only thing that's more boring than their robot modes is their alt modes i'm in it for computron i don't know about you guys shout out to those guys that love this guy who's a, that's their favorite combiner but i just i've never been very impressed with him aesthetically or even character wise that being said he's fairly well made i don't have a stress mark on him listen to me this is a warbitron figure i've transformed him two and a half times i do not have a stress mark on him that is a huge improvement i just worry that at the cost of some other things they already kind of had a grip on but time will tell thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care <laughs>